Is there life on Mars? Humans have wanted to know ever since we've been into space. The European Space Agency's latest attempt to answer that question launched earlier this year and today a critical step in that mission. But it didn't all go to plan. The Schiaparelli lander entered the Martian atmosphere this afternoon. It should have phoned home by now, but so far nothing. It's clear that these are not good signs, but uh, we will need more information and that's uh, what's going to happen tonight. We look at this telemetry, all the experts here from industry, from ESOC, and uh, I'm quite confident that tomorrow morning we will know. The spacecraft that took Schiaparelli to Mars has successfully entered orbit and will carry out measurements of the red planet's atmosphere. But engineers know that landing safely on the surface is much harder. The track record of breaching Mars safely is actually not that great. At one point it was about 50-50. We've been more successful recently though, so we are learning how to do it. And every mission we send gives us a lot more data. Earlier this afternoon, the Scaparelli robot was deployed to the Red Planet's surface. There it'll record images and take scientific measurements of what it finds. But its main purpose is to test technology for a mission in 2020, where a rover will drill into the planet's surface to search for signs of life. NASA has sent a series of rovers to Mars to characterise the geology and the, the habitability of the Mars in the past. ExoMars will be the first chance for us to actually directly look for signs of past or present life. Basically it's molecules that we feel could not have been made by some other chemical process. To make its own landing in 2021, this ExoMars rover will need the data gathered today by Schiaparelli as it fell to the Martian surface. So even if Schiaparelli hasn't fully worked today, it'll still help future missions answer the question of life on Mars. Alok Jha, News at 10.